All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for my new tackle box tour. Mm -hmm. Tuning fork, you get it? Huh? No? Okay, never mind. So, you remember that toolbox or tackle box tour? Well, since then, I've gotten more stuff, and that one had a problem with if it rained, it would fill with water because the top of it had, doesn't have drain holes. And it's just, it didn't work well. It had two trays in it. This is probably not big enough for what I need, but it does good for now. So, I'm going to pop the top. There's nothing in here yet because these are tiny little things. It'd be good maybe for spinners. Don't need that. So, we're going to open the top. This is the first first level. Got my floats, my wire leads for your deeper fish. Different assorted weighted hooks, normal hooks, weights, pinch weights. Couple little quick grabs, spinners, multi-tool. Move on down to where you can see all my different lures I use here. Now I live in South Louisiana. Everybody's different. Some people bass fish. I have some bass stuff in here as you can see, some things, but most of my stuff's geared toward your saltwater or brackish water fish in my local area. So don't build a kit to look like this if you live up in you know the northern lakes or you know in the middle of nowhere Tennessee, you're not gonna find anything that'll eat this there. Maybe these. Maybe the smaller ones like this. These are pretty good for bass. So let's go quick over what everything is, what I use it for. These are my spoons. They work great for drum redfish. That's what I use these guys for. This one I've gotten trout on a couple times, this little one here. Worms, trout, redfish, drum, sheephead, they all go for that. Same with these. These are interesting, they're called twins. I've used them a good many times out on, uh, by the, if you look up the causeway, I've caught trout and uh, sheephead on these. They travel not together, but you know, staggered and usually you'll get stuff. I haven't used him yet. This is a deep water rig. Frog works good. Um, gotten trout on it a few times. Mainly you'll get um, like redfish and stuff. I've gotten Jack Crevel on this. That's what these guys are for too, but I haven't used them yet. They're brand new. Kind of cool. They look like a real fish and they flop and everything. Got the, come on, lay down, let's throw one away. I got the plastic shrimp, which I have, the, you know, the ones that's similar to shrimp, but these look more realistic. These work really good for trout. The thing is with trout is you use fresh shrimp. So you get some from the bait store or from your local supermarket, the frozen shrimp, head on everything, whole shrimp. Find you a school of trout, get them going. To get them going, you use these. This is called a snapper. I mean, anyone around here knows, but if you're not from around Louisiana or the South, you put your lead, one of these cut wires on here, and you put weighted hook. You have either a shrimp like this or a live shrimp or a frozen shrimp. You hit the water and the little bobber floats if you jiggle it just like that. It makes noise. Well, trout attack it because they don't like the noise or they, the sound or whatever. I don't know what they do, but whatever it is, snapping it like that gets them going. If you find a good sized group of them, you take three out with normal bait. You can throw this on there. They don't care the difference. You can throw anything on there. You can throw a plain hook. It hits the water. They go after it because they're ticked off. Um, these are poppers. These are for bass. I don't really use them that much. I've used them a few times, but we don't have that much in the way of bass. They're kind of small here. Here's a different kind of spoon. Shrimp, like I told you before. This is basically all of my freshwater stuff for right here. Little crawfish, another flipper, little crickets. I don't do much in the way of freshwater. Most of my stuff is saltwater. This is a big saltwater and uh, another shiner. This is another Jack Crevel rig. Bigger hooks for Jack Crevel. If you get some um, real mullet, 
put them on those hooks and get them. It's just some assorted random hooks. Down here to my bait drawer, I've got a fillet knife, more weights. I got snap rigs, I got extra wires. Catfish bait, it works okay, not great. Usually I'm moving around pretty often, so I don't have enough time just to set two or three lines to just sit there. Spare hooks, spare squigglies. These are basically the same as these, but they have a stink to them. Spare hooks, different snappers, more flavored squigglies. These work really good. Um, they're just called shad guts. I've caught bass on these before, but mainly you get like just your, you know, your river fish or junk fish on them. I haven't used these yet. I bought them thinking I would because they're similar to these worms, but just haven't yet. Got more shrimp there, a whole bunch of wire leads, floats. So that's about it. So my kit is pretty specific to a certain group of fish. I really don't have anything bottom wise except for, you know, the catfish bait, a few weighted things. Like, I get flounder every now and then when I'm trying for catfish. Sometimes when you're fishing for redfish, you'll get a flounder or something. But that's really about it. Um, I would show you all my poles, but most of them are locked up in my boat. I can show you a couple up here I have stored. So I've got three, you know, medium length poles. This one... I need to get a reel for and it's kind of nasty. This one needs a new eyelid on the end. It got stepped on and smashed. This one's pretty good. This has got some little 15 pound string. Got my deep water pole here I never use. I just, I have a bass boat and I just don't get out in the deep water. Got another 15 pound, you know, fast rig that I'll use for redfish. Normally when I go by myself, I run three poles, sometimes four. I'll run three poles because I have two holders, one on either end of my boat, one on the bow, one on the stern, and then I'll hold one in the center and just, you know, spot fish. Or uh, I guess you would be more referred to as a fly fish, where I just throw uh, cast and reel, cast and reel, skipping along the top, trying to get any top water. The two I have on the ends are going to be bottom fish. They're just going to be sitting there soaking. Actually, one thing I did not include in here is, believe it or not, for catfish, is a Slim Jim. Get you a fresh Slim Jim, tear off a piece about that long, put it on a hook, throw it in the water, and let it sit. Catfish, for some reason, uh, same thing. Some people say hot dogs. Catfish will go for it. You know, catfish will eat anything, but Slim Jim works pretty good, and you can snack on what's left. So, enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, have an awesome day.